Okay guys, so I'm back and I found a mount which is actually not perfect, but kind of perfect. It is an old Schlage mount and four holes. I only need two holes for this. The only not perfect thing about it is the trim plates on these, I believe are gonna overhang. So we may have a hole showing somewhere through here, but we'll see how it does. I'm not gonna, I've got some with further apart spacing. And that's always a consideration when you're putting on a handle set. Some doors, I've actually seen actual doors that are this far apart. It's like a three and three eighths inch spacing. And when you go to put handle sets on, the trims hit each other. So if you have really close locks, sometimes you can't do on your actual door, you can't do a, a handle set with decorative trim because it may hit each other. Of course, we're just doing this to check this lock out because there is not much information really on it. And again, it's a 1991 lock. So 26 years or 27 years old. And we are gonna put it on this display. So just go ahead and let's do an unboxing first a little bit like you would do with any product that you purchase to make sure all the parts are there. And on top is our book, Schlage Key and Keyless. It is a keyed, probably A series door lock with a deadbolt with a combination. Inside the book, we have our business reply mail. <laughs> I should fill one of these out and send it in. Schlage, if you're watching and you get this, you have to you have to warranty the 90 day 90 day warranty. Yeah. So here's our uh, template. Came with all Schlage locks and our owner's manual, which we are going to have to refer to to put this sucker in and understand how it works. So it uses four, I didn't bring any batteries in, so I'm gonna have to stop the video and run out to the truck and get batteries. But it looks like, oh, that goes down on the inside. That's abnormal. Okay, that might actually, yeah, that's gonna be weird. Okay, so most battery packs nowadays go up from the handle, and this one goes down. Looks like between here and here we have a infrared signal path. Wow. Alright. So master temporary. New hardware, we know how to do that. We know how to okay. I'm not really gonna go through the installation really detailed. I'm just gonna put it on because that is not the purpose of this video. So put that with your wire going through. Just gonna scan over the directions to make sure we're on the right path. Put your knob on, install the deadbolt. Okay, the housing. See, this is where we need to look. Right hand, left hand door. And that's the tailpiece. Power cable goes over the deadbolt latch. And back plate goes on, feeds through just like current gen. Schlage locks. This, I'm assuming that this is the predecessor to to the Schlage lock series. So wait, we need batteries. That's a 9 volt battery, dude. So you have to have four AAA and one 9 volt. Hmm. Code's not recommended for use. Let's go over this, shall we? One, two, three, four. It doesn't even say don't use one, two, three, four. <laughs> so, yeah, one, two, three, four is okay on this one. <laughs> uh, disable alarm. Wow, this is, this is high tech old school. Oh dear, this may take longer than a, one of my usual short 20 minute videos. Exit button. I would use one unlocking deadbolt. Is 
This is this is fascinating little lock here. Quick test, release the exit button. Okay, well let's uh I guess I should, I'm almost to the end of this. I'll just go ahead and keep going. I don't know if y'all wanted to take screenshots or what or this, but troubleshooting maintenance. And limited warranty. Okay, so let us do an unboxing real quick and see what is in the box. Am I still video? Yeah, yeah, I'm still video. Five minutes. Y'all gonna hate me. It's gonna be a 30 minute upload. All right, look at that styrofoam. Styrofoam from the 90s, people. Closed, cell, tight, just beautiful. All right, so let's, uh, let's come over here. Let's come over here. So we have that. They separate the latch. So we know the latch keys and then we'll go ahead and dump those out. And we're gonna stick them in to the mount here. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna go, but And do that one my hands right. All right, let's see what else is in the box. We have something that just fell out. And we have the Plymouth interior knob. We have a very dusty trim plate. We have what is a very complicated piece of equipment here with a doorknob on it, and this is an F series. I stand corrected. They they use the F series frame. I didn't notice that when I pulled the latch out. Check out that deadbolt. That's like five pounds right there. That is some solid, hefty brass for sure. Just make sure and don't crimp the wire. We don't want to. We don't want to mess anything up there. Let's pull this out so it doesn't scratch. All right, and I guess last in the box is the interior plate for the deadbolt. And the mounting hardware, which is quite, we need to screws over there, but we don't really need, it comes with, regular strike dust cup and security strike which is very important love seeing those on doors already uh, we have a couple of screws that we will need let's use this one now some people have asked let's, we'll talk about that when we're installing it all right so we've got two brown screws four other screws which probably go for the deadbolt and let's go ahead and put this up Let's make sure nothing else is in the box here. Yeah, I saw a piece of it. Right, let's move back over here. I saw some kind of paperwork fall. Down the side there. And just, just to show you what it is. Be a brochure. Oh, quick, quick, quick change. A cheat sheet for your. Code changing. Go ahead and put that back. This wire right here is what I was concerned about. Being as old as it is. All right, let's go ahead and scoop this back. Make sure we're in camera frame here. We are not up there. Um, let's come back here. Okay, so now I'm gonna test fit this sucker. And I apologize if any of it's off frame, but um, what we're gonna have to do, we remember this face is, that has, that is sticky for one thing. That's got a sticky surface, okay. First, first thing I see going on here is I've got little bits of styrofoam stuck to this and I am going to pause for a second. I'm going to just get all this off. There's no point in doing that on video. 
but with it being like that and that may not i don't understand why that's sticky but that probably we need to get that styrofoam off so i will be right back okay i got most of that off it is sticky for a reason like i was talking about and it looks like after going over the directions on this <clears throat> as mentioned it hangs upside down so that's gonna go probably like this so on the outside i am gonna have a hole um, so i'll probably do the knob here and the deadbolt right above it and just have a hole on the bottom but what i did notice is as i started to take this apart is you know i was checking to see how it mounts to the inside and there's no additional screw holes to get the battery cover out you simply lift off this brass plate which unlike stuff nowadays i didn't put a magnet on this but it's it's a heavy metal and i'm not sure if it's brass or not probably plated metal um, and your four battery slots for your triple a's but it appears that the only thing holding this still is the pressure of the doorknob screws so we're gonna go ahead and we know that these are doorknob screws, even though they're two different finishes. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna go ahead and just put this bad boy on, double check the camera. So put that in. Uh, let's temporarily put the deadbolt latch here. Uh oh. Come on, come on, get in there, get in there. This is drilled for Schley, why are you not going in? Get in there, okay, there it goes. All right, make sure there's, I hope that doesn't have to come back out. So anyway, we're gonna throw these screws in and I've got plenty of these screws and actually I'm only gonna do one of each one right now. Another thing is we could peel this sticker. I'm not gonna worry about that on camera. Because we just want to see this. We just want to see it work. So we'll just tighten that in. Tighten that in. This is making us a left hand door, looks like. And we're gonna go, let's see, it went under. Oh my goodness, let's get a close up of this ribbon cable. Check that out. We have crazy old school ribbon cable. Somebody here knows what that is. Feel free to chime in. Um, and we need to go under the latch. And then when it goes under the latch, it comes in and plugs in. goes under the latch Carefully feed this cable under the latch, go through. All right, and according to these directions, you hold, plate, hold base plate as shown. I'm being extremely careful with this because it's so old. So hold as shown. And slide into the flex cable down ramp until it covers its own image displayed on the ramp. Use thumbs to press down and in on the back edge of the tab. Do not let the base plate dangle freely. All right, so we're gonna look at this. We're gonna decide whether or not this has to be a at the back of that that is folded over and it 
goes into slot right there. So we're going to do what the directions are telling us to do, even though it's kind of counterintuitive. Slide it down the ramp until it covers its own image. Just noticed some styrofoam in here. Let's get that out. Okay. Slide down the ramp. And it's gonna engage. It's just tight. There it goes. I uh, hate doing this. Until it covers its own image. I don't think we went all the way. It hasn't fully covered its own image. They did plug in for sure. Let's unplug it and see what happens. Do we want to do that? Oh, oh my goodness. Until it covers its own image. I don't think it slid in far enough. But that, that's where it goes. Oh. There's my little piece of styrofoam. Putting little bits of styrofoam everywhere. All right, it's not going in any further, and I don't want to force it. So it hadn't fully covered its own image. I don't know what's up with that, but the, okay, let's go ahead and get it on the door. So see, this is what was counterintuitive about it. You go to do that. Flip it. Oh, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I guess so. And there's even a little tab, I would assume. No, that's not what that's for. We're just going to let it dangle, I guess. I'm sure when you're putting it on the door, you would want to make sure it's not crimping, but it is recessed in there. So we're not going to worry about it crimping. That little tab right there is the little communi communicado tab. So on, on, this is just like putting a regular F-Series doorknob on. Just got to make sure it gets in to the recess there. Put our screws in. So on any kind of handle set type mechanism that's got a decorative non-round faceplate or plate on it, you never tighten the screws down tight at first. But always make sure that it is straight on the door. And if you have to, measure top and bottom. And as long as the measurements come out right, you're okay. And then on the inside, straighten it up. And once they're both straight, hold it and then tighten down. And again, we discovered earlier that that is freely. So there's no extra holes to be drilled on a door. And uh, quickly, I see we're going to have to split this up into, whoops, sorry, Mr. Camera, into two videos probably another one for programming okay it looks like 
we got just enough room to do the deadbolt above it. Thank God. All right, so on any Schlage deadbolt, always has the bolt out, and I turn the tailpiece straight up and down. But on this one, there is a little actuator, not phone call. Uh, there is a little actuator that has to be turned. You can't just do it like a regular deadbolt because that may throw the timing off. So we're going to do what the directions say. And we are going to determine what type of door this is. And probably need to suck this back in since this is a non-standard installation. And we see if this was this would be swinging in. So this is a left-hand door. The hinges are on the left. So if you're standing outside the door, it swings in. It's a left-hand door. So we go down here to left-hand door. And we want the locking bar to be left hand to this side. Sure. So if that's vertical, if you need to change the door and pull the locking bar out of the cross section, twist locking bar a quarter turn and without rotating Paul. Pull it out, it makes it kind of wobbly in there. Without rotating Paul, twist it a quarter turn, but it didn't say which way. Counterclock, okay, so. All right, well, it went back in. So, okay, so now it's vertical, it's that, left hand door, we can come down here, now we got it vertical, and it matches, left hand door, so with this thrown out, we're going to go over the top. Never let the outside handle go. All right, so the base plate goes on a certain way too. Move battery cover by sliding up and off. Move blind, okay, over here. Up and off again. Oh, okay, I see. Pretty well made stuff. Replace battery when you hear eight beeps instead of two. All right, so we're gonna obviously feed that wire probably through this slot. And connect it there. <laughs> Tells us that on the back. thing I noticed earlier was I'm assuming that that cover can come off pull up on its edge and the cover will snap off hate doing that with old plastic. I don't get this. <laughs> I can see this breaking on a lot of able. Ah, I won't get it off. 
Just use a big screwdriver. All right, so that comes over that, so it's just, ah, uh, okay, there's our holes. Gross, gross, gross. Definitely not DIY friendly. I can see that breaking in a lot of people. All right, let's find our holes. Should be. Oh, we missed the uh, missed the bar there. Okay, now. And good heavy mounting here, I will say. Certainly would have to be considered grade one. Go ahead and loosely tighten that down. So probably what I'll do here, because this video has been pretty long already, is we'll do this in two different things. I'll just go ahead and plan on stopping this. Okay, so there's our two deals. They're supposed to communicate with each other, really close to each other. Make sure that's uh, straight. The outside is round. Look at that, I, didn't, I hadn't turned that yet. Um, but what we'll do here is just go ahead and finish plugging it in and then I'll stop the video and, and upload it in three different parts because I still have to go get the Ford AAA and the 9 volt. So I'll go ahead and I'm assuming we can plug this in like so. And make sure the deadbolt part works. Do, do, do. Replace battery cover. Alright, so we can put this back. Now, oh, here we go again. How does that snap over that? Actually, it snaps on the thumb turn, I guess. Ah! Oh, there it goes. Oh my goodness. Huh. All right, plugged in, just waiting on battery, waiting on battery. And we will stop this video now. So this will be part one. We'll just go ahead and check the mechanical part of this lock. So it should operate as a regular door lock. And we will check the key. Okay, it turns, but it doesn't turn very far. So I can see how that might cause a problem. People turning and then breaking. Unlocked, locked, still turns. Take the key out. Turns just enough for you to realize something's going on. And then mechanically the deadbolt. Should work as a regular deadbolt. So you can use this key, key, in other words, key or keyless. So this is what we have so far. Let's take a look at it. Battery cover's not hard to do, so we will go ahead and cap it. And take a good look at it. And Use a little cleaning, but there is our. I still haven't turned this yet. I'm not going to do that until I look at the directions. But there is our Schlage key and keyless door lock. Wouldn't be a grade one because that's a shorter bolt. Oh, yeah. They had a bigger around bolt that was used on the 400 series. And actually, if I would have been putting this in at the time, I would have upgraded that bolt first thing. And I guess it had to be based on the F-Series frame, but, you know, A-Series would have been cool. 
so there we go obviously solid brass cylinder there that once you get down in there I bet you anything that's just a standard Schlag cylinder and obviously a Schlag body of an F series so we will do a part two with the programming and putting the batteries in and programming I'm gonna scan over the directions so I'll kind of be familiar with it and we'll go from there so thanks for watching oh whoa <laughs> thanks for watching this part and see y'all in a little while schlag key and keyless 1991 with the alarm Okay, the bolt locked, knob locked, one, two, three, four, unlocked. By infrared. Pretty awesome.